Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan again with Athens Christian Reformed Church here with devotions for us this morning from Seeking God's Face by Philip Reinders. Our invitation for this week comes from 1 Peter 1 verse 3, which uh, we heard on Sunday. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our Bible song is Psalm 68, verses 1 to 3. May God arise. May his enemies be scattered. May his foes flee before him. May you blow them away like smoke as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God. May the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. And our Bible reading comes from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 19 and 21 to 32. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. We had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. He said to them, how foolish you are. And how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scripture concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther, but they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us when, while he talked with us on the road and opened scriptures to us? I don't know what stood out for you today. But for me, what stood out was, may God arise, may his enemies be scattered, may his foes flee before him. I can picture Satan and all his minions, minions being blown away like, like wheat or chaff before a strong wind, just seeing them. We had some significant winds here just the other day. I could imagine them being blown and scattered before him. We are now in Easter tide, Easter day four. We celebrate Easter on the day of Easter, Easter Sunday, but we also, the church calendar calls this whole period between now and Pentecost, Easter, Easter tide. This is a triumphant 
part of the church calendar, not triumphant because we're so great, but triumphant because Jesus is so great. He conquered sin and death. Let's pray. Lord God, I'm sluggish in faith, thick of head, and I need your Holy Spirit's power to help me see Jesus in all the scriptures and in the breaking of bread. Kindle in me a burning heart of rich faith that opens my eyes and recognizes you as Lord. Amen. Now join with me in the doxology for, for today. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is, that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Be blessed today.